Welcome to another video. It is a glorious Saturday morning. I've come to sit out in the garden with my breakfast and a coffee. Uh, I had some oak granola this morning. I got the group ride in a little while, but I've got a busy day ahead today. So it's my wife's birthday this week. Uh, I've bought a brand new barbecue that I need to build before people come over later on today. We've got a problem with the hot tub that's gone cloudy which makes it unusable at the moment and I think it's because we didn't put enough chlorine in uh, when we got out the other night so we need to possibly go and buy some chlorine shop to sort that out otherwise we're gonna have to empty it and refill the whole thing and it's only been in for a week reason for a new barbecue is we've had a gas barbecue for I don't know seven eight years last time we used it was two years ago when we first moved in and we uh, it didn't get cleaned I'm going to be honest, it didn't get clean, so it needs a good clean. However, in that meantime, we've bought ourselves a little fold-out charcoal barbecue, which we've used quite a few times. Uh, and we actually thought, well, do you know what, let's just get a bigger charcoal barbecue, because I quite enjoy cooking with charcoal. So, yeah, popped out yesterday, picked up a new one, only a cheapy 50 quid one. I'm going to put that up and get that set for later. But I'm going to finish my breakfast, finish my coffee, get it sorted and load Zwift up and jump on. Got half an hour until the group ride starts, but I thought I'd introduce you to my biggest fan. New fan, 20 inches. Uh, basically, I don't get enough airflow over my body. I know whilst I've got the aircon unit in here, it's on the other side of the room. And it does keep the room cool, but I just need something blowing me. Um, so I thought I'd buy a bigger fan, see if that has any effect. It's only a cheapy one. See how it does. I picked it up yesterday. I was in home base looking for the barbecue. So, yeah, let's see how that one goes. Group ride done around a very, very hilly New York metropolitan line. But now that's done. Time to build this. One barbecue finished. That was quite easy, actually, to be fair. Um, I'm going to, I haven't had a shower yet since jumping off the bike because I knew that I'd be hot out here doing that. So, I'm going to go and do that and get myself ready people to arrive. Yesterday's barbecue went really well. I had some vegan burgers and sausages uh, that were really, really good. Today's task though, is to move that over there and take this gazebo down because that's where the decking's happening tomorrow. So yeah, that needs a good clean as well before we put the new stuff on. So let's get going. All moved and jet washed down. Only problem was we bought the wrong pole toppers. They're too big, so we can't fit the new net. So that's something we're gonna to have to replace before the little one can use it. We've got these uh, squishy mats you can see here. They're gonna go underneath it just to protect the grass a little bit, but I am very hot after doing that. So I'm gonna go and have a shower uh, and then we're off out this afternoon in to a birthday party in the park. So it's gonna be very, very hot. It's Sunday evening. We have had a really good weekend. Get, having friends and family over on Saturday and then sorting the garden out this morning and going out for a birthday party this afternoon. It has been so hot, I'm trying to get as much shade as possible. It's about half past nine at night and I'm feeling rather manky if I'm honest. Need to have a shower, but I just looked at my Strava stats. I'm only eight kilometers off doing a hundred kilometers for the week. So I thought, might as well do that before getting in the shower. So I'm gonna have a nice casual ride around, probably somewhere like Wetopia maybe watch something on YouTube, get that ticked off, jump in the shower. And I, that sun has just drained me. I'm feeling quite tired. I've got a little bit of work to do that I'll, I'll try and get done tonight before I go to bed, before I fall asleep really. Um, but I'm gonna do that and I'll catch you tomorrow. Well, there was only one place I could ride last night and that was around the Champs Elysees. I actually did it in reverse by accident, but I thought that's really where I should go and ride after watching the final stage of the tour yesterday just jumped on did an easy 12k to get me up over the 100. i did think about jumping on tonight but being honest it is so warm that the thought of jumping on the bike and making myself hotter is just a big no-no but there is one other thing i need to do i've put it off for a while you know what it is i swear every time i cut my hair there's less and less of it. There's not going to be a lot to cut soon. But let's round up the last couple of days. So uh, not a lot of Zwift action on the vlog yet so far. I uh, jumped on and had the group ride on Saturday morning, which was 27k because a lot of that was quite hilly climbing. 
Uh, and it's one of those routes that you like doing as part of a group ride because the time flies by and it just gives you that little bit of um, of added fun during it and having a good chat on Discord, uh, which was awesome. And then I was only a few kilometres short of getting the 100 kilometres for the week. So jumped on last night around Paris, did 12 kilometres uh, just round the Champs-Élysées course, uh, reverse course, um, just whilst I was watching something on YouTube. But that means this week up to 100 and just under 104 kilometers. I'm really pleased to step that up. Um, but on top of the last couple of weeks now, you know, it's, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Because I've, I feel I've performed really, really well in races. And I'm really, really pleased with, with what I think I've had a, an FTP increase in the last three races, which is awesome. But my distance kind of dropped off over the last two weeks. So I'm pleased to get that back over the 100 kilometers. I kind of see that 100 kilometers as a, that's the benchmark I need to try and be hitting uh, as something to build on going forward. It's very difficult during the week, uh, especially to fit in the longer rides. So yeah, it's always good across, you know, five or six, well, five rides across the week. If I can fit them in, always get the three in though when I can. Tomorrow is Andy Creer's group ride. So I'm going to enjoy that unbanded again which will be great fun. We're doing TikTok, uh, so I think that's quite a flat course, but that'd be great to get a few kilometers in and go back to having that unbanded ride, which I enjoyed last time. The rides for the rest of the week then. So as you watch this video on Wednesday, tomorrow is race night and it's the handicap race night. We're gonna be doing the countryside tour in Mercury, which does go up to the tree. So a little bit of climbing in there. It's gonna be interesting to see how the weight changes affect that. Remember to change your weight in Zwift, uh, divide your FDP by 2.5 and that will give you your weight in kilograms to enter into Zwift. Don't forget to change it back again afterwards, which is what I've done a couple of times now already. Um, so the, that's the race tomorrow night. Then we've got the group ride on Saturday morning, 11 o'clock UK time. We're gonna do the greatest London flat. And the reason I've chosen flat is because we've got on Sunday, our special end of month banded ride and I put a vote on Facebook earlier, so let's have a quick look and find out <laughs> what the vote says. So the choices were between the London Triple Loops, which was 40.9 40 kilometers with 564 meters of climbing, or the Watopia Mountain 8, which was 32 km kilometers with a little bit more climbing at 691. Very, very close. Seven votes to five, we will be doing the London Triple Loops on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock UK time. So as usual, all the signups will be in the description below. You can join us on Spond or on a Google form sign up, and then I'm, I will send out the invites a couple of days before each of those rides. So that wraps up this video. Less riding this week, more concentrating on family and other stuff that I've done over the weekend, but I'm hoping for good performances the rest of this week especially in the ride on Thursday. Thank you as always for everybody's support on Buy Me A Coffee. If you did enjoy this video, do hit like, subscribe, comment down below, all of that sort of stuff, and I'll see you on Sunday.